Well, basically, I came up here on holiday about five years ago. I came on the park and ride under Valley Bridge, and it was such a lovely day, and the sea was blue. And I was like, I was thinking, why haven't they got a university here? And then it wasn't until a year later, and I was looking through the UCAS book, I thought, oh, yes, Scarborough has a university. So this was my first choice, and I got in, and I was very, very happy. One of the best parts of the course is obviously the location and the fact that we've got links with the Sea Life Centre. That's what I've been doing this morning in my suit. We come once a month and we get to clean the tank out, so we get to swim with the sharks and the turtle, which occasionally tries to eat us. The Centre for Environmental and Marine Sciences offers three programmes, Coastal Marine Biology, Ecology and Environmental Science. Now, the unique things about the, the centre are that it, it offers a course that is dominated by fieldwork. That's local fieldwork and uh, international expeditions. Well, I think what I like about the most is that, you know, whatever your interest is, you can pursue it. The, the, the centre will completely back you up on that. As long as you follow the, the you know, the scientific uh, format protocols, you can really do anything that you're interested in. You're encouraged to find what's your interest, and then you will get all the support and backup to go with that. This is the Coastal Macrophyte Group, and they've come out to look at projects which they have individually designed and they're going to take data back uh, or collect data to analyse later. So this is just one field trip as part of that module. The reason why I chose environmental science at Scarborough was simply the amount of field work that you get. Um, I searched around through other universities and you simply didn't get the amount that you do with this university. Less about uh, lectures, more about field work, that's how environmental science should be taught. You really are very, very close to the campus. I mean, just behind you guys, there's a massive forest over there where you can do lots of work. Uh, you know, probably a kilometre to my left, there's the ocean with the intertidal zone, and we're stood on a moorland over here, you know. So you've got three d very diverse habitats within a kilometre, which is a 20 minute drive from the campus. We also have a, a heavy commitment to diving and, and offering students at the centre an opportunity to learn to dive to professional standard. We're, we're trying to get people trained up to European scientific diving standard which is an internationally recognised qualification uh, which would allow you to work as a professional diver. Through the university I've taken up diving which is a large part of our course, they, they encourage it. You know, if you don't want to do it that's fine but it, it helps you get a job and you meet a lot of people and it's just a really good thing to do. Three, two, one, go. A big part of the course which also made me want to come was um, the international field trips. Uh, the trip that I went on was to Indonesia which was great. Um, it took three days to get there um, but it was a week um, living with the natives in the forest, uh, sleeping in um, hammocks and then we got to go to a little island called Hoga which is so beautiful and we got to dive almost three times a day every day and it was just wonderful. It's a lot of hard work in terms of you um, doing a lot of walking, a lot of climbing um, and then um, you have to come back in and do some work in the evening and then you can focus on what you've enjoyed the most. For example here I've enjoyed the rocky shore so I've come back to the rocky shores. The other people they're up in the mountains if that's what they've enjoyed. I'm doing a 20 metre transect out into the sea starting on the rocky shore. So I'm recording the percentage cover of any algal species that I find and then the number of individuals of um, any animals that I find, for example sea urchins out there, um, they'll be recorded as individuals. Students that come to the centre can progress on from undergraduate degrees to do masters by research at, at Scarborough campus as well. And it, it's a wonderful place to study because it's, it never has a cohort of more than 50 students. So everybody knows each other and we're all on first name terms and it's more of a partnership getting students from the first year through to the final year and then on to their, their master's course. And now I'm doing a postgrad, uh, master's by research because I don't want to leave because it's such a great place.